racetrack to the top is the way to go. Stage two, off and rolling here at North Wilkesboro. Big jump from that inside lane for Roger Carruth into 71. See Ross jump out to the third line. Didn't look like a lot of grip over there initially. He was in that white truck that was about six rows back. That was a heck of a launch by Raja, as you pointed out, Adam. You can see battling side by side all throughout the top ten. This is great racing. Blue and orange 18 on that inside lane. Fighting for second is Tyler Ankrum. That team has had a tough ride lately, but he looks good so far here at North Wilkesboro, trying to get another top five finish. Really good on the short tracks earlier this season. <laughs> Corey Huff gives props to the track for the pavement job, and he's using all of it. Did you see him all the way up to that third and high lane in turns three and four and one and two? Remember that 98 of Majeski has not been to pit road yet. But neither is the 71, the 66 of Connor Jones. So three drivers inside the top five that appear to be on that one-stop strategy. They've not been to the pit lane yet this weekend. Here comes Corey Hine to the outside of Tyler Rankin trying to grab that third spot. Just love how this racetrack races, as Corey said. It's the props to the people that did this job. And I'll say this, not just props to them for what they did to the racetrack, but the cleanup after everything we fought yesterday. We found out the drain was covered in turn one. That's what created the flooding. 880 tons of gravel to make sure everything was in order for the fans. Marcus Smith and his team have done an unbelievable job. And here comes Ty Majeski looking outside for the lead on Raja Karuth. He better go look for that lead because Corey Heim. Whoa! Hang on to it. Oh, Raja Karuth goes. goes around. Caution is out. All right, let's get it straightened up. Let's go to pit road right now, fellas. Make sure the pit road's open. If they're still all up, just stay out. Now this is uh, when the strategy can uh, yeah. come into play. I know we think the pit win is 120 to 130, but with caution flags, we feel like they can stretch it away, and this might be a chance worth taking and right we, here. And we never get as good a fuel mileage check as we did yesterday for those first 80 so laps. So a lot of the guys saying we're getting better fuel mileage, even though the pace is so fast, we're getting better fuel mileage. I'm not sure this doesn't open up the window for a lot of people here. It's a bit of a chance, but heck, Columbus took a chance. Look what it got him. <laughs> I didn't see that reference playing out today. Just a little bit loose inside of Majeski for Rajah Karuth. Does a nice job getting that truck down the hill and out of the way. And his competitors all swinging around the high side. Watch this. Just loose in. That's what this is called. Mm. So cool that he kept it out of that outside wall. He'll live to battle for the lead again, I believe. Stefan Parsons running 28. First truck one lap down, so he gets.